Our next guest is an actor. He's a musician. He went to Duke University and was a member of DUMB, but don't get the wrong impression. He is no dummy. DUMB stands for the Duke University Marching Band. His big break was on General Hospital, and he was also on Valentina's Wedding. So, Ryan Carnes, nice to have you here on the Trend Talk. Hi, hi, nice to be here. Thanks Welcome. Thank you. Valentina's Wedding is, was recently out, and you, you shot it in Mexico, is that correct? I did, yeah. We shot for about two months in Mexico City. And then we finished out the shoot up in Toronto like, right. for, for about a week, 10 days. And your character, it, obviously it's like a culture clash type thing where there's this gringo guy that's, you know, dating a Latina and then all of the culture clash that happens with that. So what did you learn about the Latino culture that maybe you didn't know before when you immersed yourself in the character? Well, I actually learned a lot about the culture, mm -hmm. uh, which, which wasn't hard because I didn't know a lot about the culture <laughs> to begin with. Uh -huh. um, so it was it was a real education for me, and you know I, I got to, I got to I got to do the typical things like try new food, which which I loved. I, I thought the food there in at least in Mexico City was was fantastic, and I've heard that in other parts of Mexico, supposedly right. it's even better. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, so I can't wait to go try different it there. regions, different food, and all delicious. Yeah, yeah. So so that was that was really great, and just getting to 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 know the, the, I think, the heart of the people. Right. I was treated really, really well when I was there. I, I, I was received very warmly with a lot of hospitality. And the people that I worked with and, you know, who were sort of looking out for me right. were, I mean, they couldn't have been nicer. But there was some, one time when they weren't that nice, when they electrocuted you. Yeah. What? Yeah. Your co-star. Talk to us about that. What, what was that all about? Yeah, so <laughs> I, yeah, I still don't know if somebody did this, was this on, on purpose. Set? This was on set. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. Um, and it wasn't part of the movie. Well, it, it, it was part of the movie to an extent. I'll, I'll explain. So, so in the movie, there's a scene where Omar Chaparro's character takes me to a bar, mm -hmm. gets my character very, very drunk on mezcal, tequila, um, and uh, he 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 encourages me. He challenges me to play tocas tocas. Mm -hmm. Which tocas, my character tocas, had right. never played before, and I had also never played before. What I is the tocas tocas? The, I know the, what the, the tocas, tocas. Is it when you go and you get those yes. electrical yeah. things? Yeah, I, I did it's that. It's a big yeah. thing yeah. in Mexico. Oh, yeah. I don't it's know a why. huge I went, thing. I went there. to for school years. in Mexico for like four years. Yeah. I'm like, why are we doing this to ourselves? But anyway, yeah. explain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so there's a scene in the movie where, where we play tocas tocas. Uh -huh. And um, Jason, is my character, is very competitive, and he's, he's not about to let Angel win. Um, so we, we, you know, and, and actually Jason ends up winning. So we shoot this scene, right, and we're, it's a night shoot. So we shoot about half of the scene. We break for lunch, and apparently on lunch, some of the crew members were hanging out playing Tokus Tokus. Like in real life. In not... like real life. <laughs> yeah, just because it was fun. And somebody left the dial on 10. Oh. So here's what I, I actually to, I told the end of the story before I got to the end. I, sh I should have waited. So, so we come <laughs> back from lunch. Wait, never mind. We come back from lunch, and Marco Polo Constanz, the director, says, "Okay, Ryan, uh, the guys, this this scene is just a pickup. Uh, we don't need to take it all the way through. When when the guy running the machine flips the switch, you guys don't need to react. It's just a pickup, and I'm going to cut it. Somehow that got lost in translation, translation. <laughs> <laughs> um, because he calls action." Omar and I do our thing, the director does his camera move, and we think he's going to call cut, and all of a sudden we get to the moment where, the, our, in, in the script, our cue for the guy running the machine to flip the switch, he flips the switch, and Omar and I shoot out of our chairs completely involuntarily. Oh my gosh. Li li the, the, the electrical current literally shot us out of our chairs, we knock everything off the table, Omar kind of like stumbles forward and falls into the table, I go backwards, everything flies everywhere, and it took... You know, it took me a few moments to realize what had happened, and then we realized, oh, somebody left the dial on 10. So, so I don't know if it was intentional. <laughs> and you'll never forget well, that story. I'll, I'll never, never forget uh, it happened in Mexico. Yeah, I'll never forget <laughs> it, and I'll never know if it was uh, intentional. If it was planned. Yeah, but but we have we have a story to tell. Not only are you doing, uh, you know, these gems of films like Valentina's Wedding, which is out on DVD, but you're also, you know, you've been a big hit in General Hospital. You were a big hit in De uh, Desperate Housewives. You were also on that uh, sci-fi phantom. You were the mm -hmm. lead character. Mm -hmm. And then one of your interesting roles was you turned into a pig in this really 
popular sh British show. Talk to us about that. Yeah, so so it was on Doctor Who, mm -hmm. which is a, a huge cult hit uh -huh. uh, worldwide. You know, it's 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 based in in Britain or well in the UK. They shoot it in Wales, so I got to go to Wales to shoot that, which was fantastic. Uh, but it's I mean it's a worldwide cult hit, and <laughs> ironically because I grew up on a farm in Illinois, on a pig farm, feeding pigs, calling pigs, and then you know. <laughs> However many years later, I end up on a show getting turned into a half-human, half-pig. Oh, wow. So, There's a I theme mean, you here. Can't, you can't. Carnitas, pigs, <laughs> chicharrones. Yeah, you know I mean, what chicharron is, right? I do, yeah. Oh, no. We don't want to do that to you. <laughs> well, the, that's, wait, that's pig skin? Por pork skin, right? Fried, fried pork yeah, skin. Yeah, you know, that was a thing, uh, again, like, strangely, that was a thing when I was growing up in Illinois. Really? Yeah, Chicharron? yeah. Pig skins are like a really, it's a, it's a common snack. They are making oh, a comeback. They are. No, they're like really busting out. It's are they? the trending yeah. thing. They call it crispy fried pork skins. It's yeah, like chicharrones. Yeah, I have, you know, I, and, and, and again, ironically, I don't even eat pork anymore. So there's, there's like, there's something with, with pigs in but my life. I wanted to ask you, you loved Mexico so much and, and that was a really good movie for you. Now you're, there's another project in the works, yes? In Mexico. In Mexico? Uh, yeah, so I, I filmed, uh, b between December and March, I filmed uh, a second film in Mexico um, that I, I, you know, I can't talk a lot about yet because we're, we're just not at that stage. But yeah, my, my second Mexican film, playing a gringo. That's right. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Ryan. Also, people can catch you on General Hospital, one of the most popular, you know, longest-running soap operas around because you came back. 50 years, isn't it? 50, 50 years. 55. 55. 55. Your character came back, so congratulations thank on you. that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and Valentina's Wedding is out on DVD. Out right? on DVD. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, Ryan Carnes. <laughs> My pleasure. Thanks thank for you. coming to The Thanks. Trend Talk. Thanks for having me. Don't go away. We'll be right back with a lot more here on the show, The Trend Talk. Oh,